I would really love to give my troops and the troops of my allies a rest. Or rather my levies, not so much my allies. However, this world is unforgiving and harsh. So we will have to do our best. And this might be a bad idea. Have these troops stand there. Just might be a bad idea. See, we stack the card deck in our favor. Our troops are arriving, but slowly. It's going to be a trickle down. They cross the river, they attack into mountain. So it's the worst possible position for them to be in. And I have a lot of troops moving up here. And we have some fairly competent commanders. However, uh, right, which one of you is the defender man? You. You are the flank defender, so we should switch these around. So he has the highest morale troops, while the others are all very low and very small. Because he has the best defensive capabilities and should have the highest impact on potentially winning this. Or at least holding out long enough to have reinforcements arrive. We'll see what happens. There's some more troops. Reinforce that center. Oh, we should probably slow this down a little bit. Right, so we have a little bit more balanced of a unit. We're going to move. Especially Pike over here. On the defensive flank. So we have the numbers now. They're locked in. They can't really abandon their move. And as you can see, it was a total and complete route for them. as our armies slaughtered them. Now we just go in siege. And maybe stand down a few troops. Don't need everyone. We really don't need everyone, so we don't need to have our troops up to achieve what we're trying to achieve, since this is now a siege again. We just go quicker in speed, get ourselves a new steward who knows what he's doing. We need to be a little bit careful, because there's still stuff going on up there where enemy armies might march onto us. That don't necessarily have anything to do with the conflict we're currently in. So why are we going in minus here? We've beaten him. It's because he's still holding his territory that it's about. Let's tell our marshal he needs to shape up. And we are presented to become wrathful or patient. I think we're going to go for patient and get it. And we have a new kid, new daughter. So this is going down real weird. But there you see, the, my, 
the attacker controls all their holdings and now we're jumping up since we are controlling theirs they can't siege us i'm not a fan of these okay Marsman asked if i have an affair with this man um Yeah, we confess and break up. Okay, we were denounced publicly. He, He's not one for apologies. Right, for some reason we have lost a whole bunch of troops in this. Let's stand up a little bit more so we can... Right, he immediately jumped on this tiny army I raised. So this is not going to go well. Well, it went better than I thought. Good, let's get his title immediately. Group and down. All right. Do we have the Duchy of Edessa? Do. Armenia Minor. And Edessa. Which is de jour all this. We give these to one of our other kids. I mean, apparently I'm still getting pregnant. I think I should switch my focus to something that is less... Oh, plot power doesn't actually work towards that. Maybe we should turn ourselves to theology... scholarship war doesn't really make much sense to us we go for carousing let's go for carousing and uh, get some of these some of these vassals a little bit happier right child likes focus not, not a great thing to, to have here enjoy one child likes focus. Minor titles. Both swans. Always give it to the people who have a fairly low opinion of you, just to bolster it a little bit. My son will be our cupbearer. Man will be a commander. could give away a Dessa. Or we take it for a capital. I mean... Nah. Not going to take it as our capital. Not a fan of moving around capitals. So let's give our heir the county of Edessa. Go. We really need to let our troops recover. Look at that, how much we're missing there. We're missing more than 3,000. Well, yeah, more than 3,000 troops. We could be that much stronger. But we are not. Let's check out some societies. We could... Join the community of St. Anthony. Which costs us a little bit of gold. Speaking of which, we should probably... Go ahead and now build ourselves another castle. I think that's a good time now. And we want a bigger levy size. And a bigger garrison size. Money well spent. Go 
So why am I joining or trying to join a society? Because over here, on the second level, we get to take a vow of celibacy. Which is lovely. We will also... Let's have a non-aggression pack with our kid. And now we go ahead and assign ourselves as his guardian. We are pregnant again. Yeah, we really need that uh, power of celibacy if you want to kind of control how many kids there are. Though he's already nine, another young son would be would be quite nice, I think. Right. We haven't looked for allies in a bit. So we should probably see if we can't get a patrol going over here. This king directly. One of our daughters. No. Why not? Political concerns. How much do we need to give you to increase your opinion of us? We're going to try. Here, great king, have a gift. Now take one of my daughters on top of it. There, there we go. How old is he? Seven. So he gets the four-year-old. Giving us an aggression pact with Anatolia. And maybe even an alliance. Doesn't like us well enough, but at least a non-aggression pack, that is something. So let's check on his realm tree. Maybe we can find an ally amongst his vassals. So we have this daughter. We have a son too. Nope. See him maybe. Ah, very good. Not matrilineal though. Right. Let's get that patrol going. And do we get an alliance out of it? We do. Lovely. I mean, he has 2,500 troops. That's not nothing. We need to take what we can get, really. Let's check through our aggression pacts we can't turn anything else into an alliance back his realm tree again maybe they have a daughter who we can get for our son here. Ah, Duchess of Alexandria. That would be pretty cool. Princess of the Nicene Empire. They're almost of an age. Sounds good. He loses some prestige over it. But that is okay. And now we should get an alliance out of it too. We are not playing a game of thrones here. We are playing a game of courts, quite honestly. All time dukes and counts are amongst our allies. But it's just as effective as having the kings themselves, because kings are a little bit fickle. But dukes, those are a bit more patient with the world. Okay, let's see. We're not doing so hot on money, so we will have to let this build up a little bit longer. As you know, we already need a little bit 
of a rainy day fun for the next war. We are coming down with our kid. So there's a regency. How are we doing on our realm laws? Uh Oh well, yes. We're doing here. Far away still. Ah. And another new heir. He shall be called Taniel. A nice name and he shall of course be struggle little struggling warrior and who can we get for you the princess of the latin empire princess of the nicene empire well, they're attractive at least see if we can't find someone strong who's also of a similar age maybe Bulgarian girl, sickly, Italian, more Bulgarians, Bulgarians are strong people, be quick, oh, let's look for genius first, why go low, oh there we go, he's perfect, all the same age, don't really care for the Italians, but, okay, Gives us a huge malice on prestige. We do end up to marry. Ah, They don't want an alliance with us. Why do you have so many troops? A huge amount of retinues. Who are you? He is so huge. Where is that? Thing. Honestly, I want that alliance. What do you need as a gift? That's a bit too much. You can sway him to our opinion. And maybe likes us better for it all right I got carousing so I should actually go you carousing as well so we will check our court no not our court our vassals and we will pick the ones that have the lowest opinion of us Uh, he's just a little count. Oh, no, a baron. Opinion, opinion. We can't invite him carousing. I don't think. Because he is Muslim. Ah, we're also not at peace. We have to wait for this war to be finally over. Uh, uh, wow, that's a big Sunni revolt there. don't actually have enough men to take care of that. Why can we not call our allies in this? Okay, we'll have to do this with um, mercenaries. There's really no other way for us to do it. Again, we're looking for low-cost budget mercenaries. Ah, the Bulgarian band is already on contract. Big shame. The affordable ones are all gone. So 30, 31 is probably the lowest, next lowest we can get. 
And it's all light cavalry infantry stuff. And they're very costly to raise. But it is the next best option we have. We'll have to take it. Let's unpause real quick and see if maybe... Stand these troops down so they don't get squashed. Needlessly. Okay, he's splitting up his troops, so... We can actually go and fight him in packets. Oh no. Who died? Our daughter died a sick. daughter of ours. I don't like this army moving around. I don't like it. I don't know how well rebels are going to work together. Yeah, let's not take chances, honestly. Not. Let us not take chances. There was a 31 one here. This guy needs to be on flank, and this guy needs to be on flank, and this guy can lead the center. The north should be fine. Yeah. So let's wait and see what it does with this army there. Get to talk to Giuseppe. And we can get him a little bit more towards liking us. Want an alliance now? Still a no. Our son is an excellent student. So he gains a bunch of modifiers, positive traits, points here. And down we stand them all. As you saw, it, w it popped up real quick only. Um, we lost a few people by standing them down there. Sometimes that happens if there are enemy troops within your territory when you try to stand them down. And I believe it was some small-ish army walking around here, sillily, stupidly. How are we losing commanders so quickly? Let's find ourselves some new ones. Well, at least an aggressive leader. Better than not we got. Can this war be done? Please. You have lost. I would like to go carousing. Does not seem to be in the cards for us right now. Child mortality is the greatest threat to our alliances currently. 
But this annoys me. Stop this fighting. Stop it. Right, our second castle at home is done. So let's build the castle town immediately, giving us more money. <sighs> and we just wait for this war to be over. 